Hi everyone, Anata here again, and welcome back to the Mask of Eternity. Um, while the, uh, the game's loading, I'm gonna say this, um, uh, uh, the game crashed and I got back to where, uh, the stuff was, but I, I did exactly what I did, um, uh, what you guys saw me do is what I redid, and so I didn't do anything extra besides that, and I didn't leave out any stuff, so that way you don't, guys don't have to see any of the stuff twice. Um, uh, I did, though, do it in a slightly different order, and so I'm in a slightly different spot. I'll show you. Um, uh, it, where we left, where we left off on the video, I would have been right there when I popped up. Instead, I, um, uh, did, got the mold secondly, and so I just came over to the girl here where I need the mold at. Um, uh, but that's the only thing I did differently. Put that sword away, you're talking to a woman. Um, uh, so I, now I give her the mold, and here's what this is for. Um, uh, here's my armor rating right now, 18. I have found some mold, dear lady. Wonderful. Now, behold. <laughs> I am grateful, good damsel. Your kindness has inspired me. Be careful, O oh champion of champions. See, it increased my aura rating by five. Hey, ah, ye, yeah, stupid yawner. What's that? Sort of screeching sound outside. It sounded like a swarm of bats. The only thing is, there's no reason. F there's no reason for it to be a swarm of bats, because it's 20 degrees outside. Oh, wait a minute. I think the screeching noise is in the game. Never mind. Okay. Thought it was outside my window there. That's covered up with a blanket. <clears throat> hey, don't judge me. That blanket over the window keeps it warm in here. Now I gotta go to right here. This is where Osteo and Humorous are having a brawl. And, uh, they are, um, uh, uh, the other skeletons are betting over who's going to win the fight. I don't know if they're planning on killing each other, if it's just a friendly match, or what the deal is, but I do know one thing, it doesn't matter, because, uh, I kill them both, and all the onlookers. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> Watch him, humorous. Rub off his skull. <laughs> Get him, boy. <laughs> I'll bet two goes on Ostio. You're on. I'm for humorous. Back in Ostio. Hey, stop the strike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill everybody. Oh, stop shooting me with that bow. I do not like you. I do not like your bow. I do not like your children. I don't know where I should go up here for the skeletons. Six. Alright. And now that key that I just picked up unlocks this door up here. And then, I was wrong. I, um, uh, remembered while I was running around trying to figure out what I was doing on my own. D trying to, you know, figure out where I was so I could just get right back there for you guys. Um, uh, what actually is the case... Am I going the right way? Yes. What actually is the case with, uh, that door there, Azrael does not give you the key to that door. In fact, there is no key to that door. Strictly speaking, um, uh, what the case is, is it's um, uh, a bunch of, uh, th th there's a, a lever, and it's that same, if you notice there's an onk keyhole on the door, and it's a lever in the shape of an onk, and you turn the lever, and uh, it opens the door. And uh, you can actually see it happen on the map. Um, uh, 
because since it's a magic map, as if something changes in the world, it changes on the map as well. And I love that feature, by the way. Like, I can't think of very many games that do that. And it's one of the coolest features of any game ever. And this key here, like I said before, but that way, just leads up to this door here. And there are skeletons in here to fight. Prepare to die. Now the reason why they had one archer there is because they expect you to try to dodge the arrows. And if you dodge the arrows, they hit the crates. And when the arrows hit the crates, the skeletons pop out. I believe there's a skeleton in every single one of these. Some might even have two. Ow! Here, that is one of those, uh, cloaked fellows. <clears throat> Stupid skeleton. Stupid duty head. Your mother was a hamster! Okay, and here's how these work. It actually took me... Uh, the first time I did this, I, it's, it took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to f solve this. And it wasn't until I looked through the map that I figured it out. These uh, levers here... These four... Control the four um, uh, uh, gates. The, this one here, this one here, this one here, and that one there. The ones that lead to the entrances to the hallways. Like that one right there. And these four levers control four of the internal gates to the, I guess, opposed to the rooms. And you notice it only did one set of four, though. And then you go over here, though, that one's down. You lower that one, that one goes down, that one goes up. And then it resets these switches. And there's another set of four. And it keeps going on and on like that. Until finally you get to the fourth set of four. And it unlocks the remaining ones. And I'll show you what's contained inside here. We have these guys. No! There we go. And one time, I could not figure out how to get those to open, but I did glitch my way into the, the one of these rooms that holds the, uh, that holds the, uh, the, the door lever. I'm a cheating cheater. He didn't have the opportunity to do nothing, so I shot him with my bow. Hope you guys liked my song. I wrote it just for you guys. It was about how I cheat and how the that guy died. I want its power. That's impolite. And have you noticed how impolite the skeletons are? I and mean, they're just plain rude, I think. Because if you notice, you know, like the Spriggans or the Goblins, you know, they're monsters. You know, it's their job to just go up and kill people. Zombies, you know, they're mindless creatures. You know, but the skeletons, they're obviously sentient. And yet they're still like, I want to kill you and eat your children and dissolve your mother in acid and whatever else they say. And there's the key. I'll show you on the map. See, look at this door right here. See, it opens it and it's ready to go. 
And, uh... Let's see. I would consider drinking the potion just so you guys can see through the door. Uh... But, um, uh... There's a surprise waiting on the other side. And if you drink the potion, you can see it. And, um, uh... I don't want to ruin the surprise for you guys. So... Here we go. Hello. Here's the surprise. This door has no substance. A skeleton. You shan't gain the hammer, mortal. I can, Spectre. And, and I, I shall. Now, there might be a secret to getting through this without getting hurt. I don't know what it is. So what I do... ...is I just make sure I'm healed... ...come back, get a running start... ...and jump at it. And on your way back... ...it, um, uh... Yeah, on your way back, it doesn't uh, attack you with ghosts and stuff. It's just normal. So I think it'll be faster to go through here. And to be perfectly honest, the fight that's coming up as soon as I go through that door is one of my least favorite fights in the game, and I really don't know why. Oh, by the way. There's the hammer. And it's by the fact that it has with the runes that are on it, and um, uh, the the fact that there's thunder when I pull it out, and also listen to the sound when when it, when it happens, and also watch what it does when it hits something. See that noise there? I think the hammer is actually Mjolnir. I would not be in the least bit surprised if that's what it was. Closer, human. You shall learn of your imminent death. I have no desire to die, spirit, as many a corpse will attest. Your quest ends here, mortal, for no one crosses the river of death. There, there is, is now, now a new order, order and, and it shall prevail. prevail. My quest is to restore the mask of eternity <clears throat> to where it belongs. You shall meet your death, mortal, but I'll not need to soil my hands with your blood. Be prepared to die. We shall see. And once I kill him, see, I, I try to kill him quickly because once you kill him, the rest of the guys really aren't capable of doing that much damage to you. Oh, you pansy! Going where I can't follow. You silly sod. Fine, be that way. Throw my hammer at you. I'll knock your teeth out. And since your teeth are pretty much all you have left of your looks, that's too bad for you. Now you'll never get a date. This, this, this. Hmm. Thought I saw him drop some gold, but I can't get to it. Aw. Try and kill one of the rats. But, uh. <laughs> okay. But yeah, this um uh the skeleton dropped his sword and it's actually better than Excalibur. So it's pretty cool looking. It has a skull on the cross guards there. Or not on the cross guards, but where the 
the handle and the cross guards and everything meet. And here's why you need the hammer of Azrael to make it across the river. Right, you see there's a, a lever over there? And that lever controls the bridge. The bridge of life. Oh, it works. Let's see. Does that I'm gonna save here. Just because I've played this game before in the past when um uh, something crazy happened and I um uh, didn't have the opportunity to cross the bridge properly when I went to run across it I fell through it and into the river of death and died so that's to uh, you know just in case that happens again I like to save and it was probably just a glitch but I still I am um, uh, kind of so timid about it that I do this I get right here and I jump so there you go and this portal takes me to the Swamp Kingdom. And, uh... With this one, let's see. I'll do a little bit of exploring. Um, we'll find the giant golden mushroom that we need for the, uh, the permanent spell of might. And that should be good enough for, uh... An episode. That way, I'm not, you know, trying to cram so much of the swamp into it. Uh, we have a healthy amount of the dimension of death, and we don't have a short video either. Um, but that way, you get to see, you know, what the swamp's like. You know, take out a couple swamp fiends. Um, there's one enemy I forget what they're called, but they're all bubbly. Um, like you can only tell they're coming by the bubbles. There's like you just see bubbles pop in the thing, and you kill them when they get close, and um, they kind of, I wouldn't say they frighten me, but they make me paranoid to play this level, because they, the only way you can tell they're there is by their bubbles. And, um, uh, <clears throat> they, uh, they they have tentacles, like they grab you with the tentacles and pull you under the water, or they, uh, uh, um, or when you kill them, oh, by the way, that's the oracle of the tree that you're seeing right now. Or when you kill them, Where the tentacles, um, uh, swamp? uh, the tentacles kind of go, come out of the water and then submerge again and then the creature dies. And that, I forget what they're called, but they're the classic swamp enemy. On my reach. And as you might expect, mushrooms are overly abundant in the swamp. There's a swamp fiend there. You can see off in the distance. Well, maybe you couldn't because uh, some for some reason when my videos uh, been rendering they've got super dark. But surely you could be. I know you can see him now. He's right there. Here comes the Swamp Fiend. Should be right next to me now. Nope, he's away, he's away. I'll chop your leg off. And how these guys die is so cool. You cut their arm off. See? Yay! But anyways, that's beside the point. I think there are two enemies that you consistently cut their arms off. Um, uh... The, uh... The Swamp Fiends and one of the Ice Enemies. Uh, there's there's the bubbly enemy right there. There we go. And now he's dead. And uh, in this level, the biggest nuisance are the frogs. The reason why is because you need to rely really well on your hearing, and they really disrupt your hearing. But, you can usually tell fairly well where they are because of the stereo sound. Oh, another bubbly guy. There we go. Alright, he's 
right in front of me somewhere. Oh, right there. Where are you? Oh. See, it's kind of easy to get overwhelmed in in this level because the uh, because it's because of the frogs the enemies are able to creep up on you. And I've lost my bearings. There it is. And the bats too, they make noise. And they're harder to kill, because you gotta lead them off. Just gotta, uh, in about there. There we go. And then, you saw an enemy uh, just a second ago. I didn't um, uh, kind of really focus on him, but you saw him right there, a Mangador tree. Um, uh, he's very hard to beat when you get close to him. Unfortunately, that's the only way to beat him is to get close to him, because when you try to hit him with a ranged attack, they just laugh. So, what we do is we get close to him, these limbs pop up that he attacks with, you cut them off, and you hit his body a couple times, and he dies. We have these guys. Just as another swamp fiend, easy to beat. Kill a couple more trees. Based on the uh, the high quantity of uh, mangrove trees here, this is where we get our bow. Because there's a certain point where we need a new bow, or we need a new ranged weapon, and it has to be a bow, and you'll see why. Yep, it's right back here. There it is. Unlucky fellow. Assuredly, I shall fare better. Stab! Slice! Die, tree. And then in the next level, we get some wonderful weapons. Um, uh, you give the, uh, it's the underground realm of the gnomes. And, uh, next level is the level where we're able to start buying things. Which, I love being able to buy stuff in this game just because... When the stuff you can buy is just so super awesome. I'm gonna stop killing these trees, even though they give great amounts of experience. And that's because... I'm, uh... There's more stuff I would like to do before the vid I end the video. And we're getting close to that time, so... Which I may not do all the things that I talked about, you know, what I did, you know, because all I really wanted was for you guys to see the swamp until the next episode, and so I'm, uh... Okay, never mind, here's the golden mushroom, so I said I would do that. You guys saw the oracle of the tree. Um, uh, I didn't talk to him, but you saw him. And then we'll chop off a piece of the mushroom. This is a slice of golden mushroom. And, um... That'll be all we do today. Um, uh... Let me make sure I have the, all the mushrooms I need. 
Alright. Well. Tis beyond my reach. I'll grab these mushrooms because I uh Tis I love my reach. Shut up, Connor, you pansy. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> but anyways, I'm gonna leave this video off here. I'm uh I'm gonna hook I'm gonna do the swamp. I would like to do it in two more levels. It may take me three. Um who knows how long it'll take. Um uh but uh that's I, I like the idea of it taking two more, uh, but we'll have to see. Um uh But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit the like button and I'll see all you guys next time. Huh. I was expecting Pepsi and got Dr. Pepper. That was a heck of a surprise. Whew.